round welcome to the pre-show of our live safari where for five minutes we check that everything is up running and functioning before the start of our proper live safari uh, yesterday afternoon on the sunset safari Dave and I walked within 20 meters of Karula and her cubs and we didn't see her <laughs> and we walked straight past the leopard I don't know if it was 20 meters it was probably slightly more than that and my only comfort is that Brent drove past her and so did Rexon. It's the only thing that's making me feel better right now. Even Aubrey was embarrassed. We got home, realized where Taylor was and wept together. Didn't we, Dave? We didn't actually weep. Uh, this morning, Brent is going back to check on those leopards. I'm driving at snail's pace to make sure we don't miss tracks along this road. Although it could still happen regardless. And we're going to go and check the hyena den. But the worrying thing is I haven't seen a single hyena track. I've got a horrible sneaky suspicion that after the rain, because we've been back to check a few times, after the rain they've wandered off and moved den sites. Because it's slightly damper here, they might have moved to one of the higher ones a bit further on a crest, Aubrey's Road perhaps. I don't think they would have gone to Galago because that would be just as damp. But I am concerned. There's still not a single hyena track here and we're right next to the entrance to the den. That will be very sad, Dave. We've just found them again. Our hearts shall be broken. Until we find them again. In that way, our hearts shall begin to heal. Especially if there's more than one cub. I mean, more than one set of cubs to surprise us with. Okay, I have not seen any leopard tracks here. There is also the distinct possibility that we could get slightly damp this morning. I'm a little bit concerned. When I went out this morning, when we drove from Ingers to DRC, there were stars, so I didn't even think about putting our roof on. But now I see, no, it's breaking up. I think we'll be okay, Dave. I think we can chance it. <laughs> Fly up the nose. I think we're going to be fine. Oh dear. Still no leopard, uh, hyena tracks on this road. That's not good at all, Dave. The only thing that walked along here was an elephant. Oh, there's a hyena though. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Never mind. They have not moved. Perhaps they have. I'm not sure which one that is. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Don't leave now. Things are just getting so exciting. We haven't even started the safari yet. Come back. Don't leave us. And we often get asked why we don't follow hyenas like we might with wild dogs or leopards or lions. Because it would be like following one wild dog. And they're not as used to it as the wild dogs and the leopards, so they have a tendency to run. But they'd basically lead us through absolute chaos and the chances of being able to stick with them would be next to impossible. So I'm not going to even try and follow that hyena. There's more tracks here. Okay, Dave, we, we might be in the clear. We might be lucky, although if that was Ribbon, then we're going to have to leave and come back anyway. Because it means she's not home, and the cubs are here all alone. In the darkness. And in 30 seconds you shall be transported into the world of the live safari. Brent will be out driving. Steph will be out on walk, which I'm sure will make many of you very happy.